And so this year I have been looking at a lot of J.J. Renault stories, and this is one of my favorites. Now down in Louisiana, between Metry and the river, there was a train that ran, and there was a young man, a young man who was so poor that, that, that he took to riding the rails on that train back and forth between the river and Metry. And he'd get off the train and he'd work for a few days for somebody to just enough to get some, some food in his belly. And then he'd jump back on the train until the bulls, the, the train police, would kick him off again. And the people around there, they got so used to seeing him, they called him Po' Boy. Now Po' Boy, he rode up and down those tracks on that train. And one day the, the bulls, they came along, they kicked him off the train. And it was out in the middle of the bayou. Somewhere that, you know, he didn't see any tails around. He walked for three days with no food, no water. He was hungry. And finally he came to a little town. And he saw a tavern. And he thought, you know, I'll just go on into that tavern and I'll ask the tavern if, if I can do some work for him and, and get a little food in my belly. And he went into the tavern and he asked the tavern keeper, he said, you know, I'll, I'll work for, for some food. And that old tavern keeper said, I don't want the likes of a boy like you in here. Just get on out of here. I'll give you a crust of bread and some water just to get rid of you. Maybe a boiled egg. And he took that crust of bread and that boiled egg and some water and he shoved it on the poor boy and said, Now get on out of here. And poor boy, he said, I tell you what, I'll be back. I'll be back one day and I'll pay you back ever since for that boiled egg, that crust of bread and some water. Now, poor boy, he continued riding up and down the rail on that train. And he got to be pretty friendly with those people on the railroad. Pretty soon they gave him a job and, you know, poor boy, he became the owner of that whole railroad. When he was a grown man, he owned that entire railroad. And he remembered that town. And one day, he was dressed in his finest clothes. He walked into that tavern. He had a barkey. He saw this important looking man. He said, how can I help you, sir? You know, I'll do anything you want. Oh, boy, he said, now you don't remember me, but I'm here to pay my debt. I told you that I would pay you back for that hard-boiled egg, that crust of bread and that water, and I'm here to do it. Oh, well, that barkey. He took stock of that rich man standing in front of him in his, his suit and his fine clothes. And he said, you know, I can make some money here. And he got, got to look through his ledger book where he kept records where everybody he'd ever dealt with. And he said, oh, yeah, well, here it is. And the boy said, well, well, how much is it that you think I owe you? He said, well, uh, let me do some figuring. He took a pencil and wet it on his tongue. He began to, to figure it he looked at the poor boy and he'd write something down. He'd look again and write something down. And he said, I'll tell you what, $10,000. The poor boy said, $10,000 for a crust of bread and a boiled egg? Barkeep said, just think what I would have made if I hadn't boiled that egg. The poor boy said, no, I'm not paying you $10,000. Barkeep said, well, that's okay. The, the magistrate over here, we'll just go talk to him. He's my cousin. Well, you know, they went on over to the courthouse and went in front of the magistrate. The magistrate said, well, what's this all about? And the boy, he said, well, I don't want to pay $10,000 for a boiled egg. And Barkey said, well, you're on. Ain't it true that if I hadn't have boiled that egg, it could have hatched into a whole bunch of other chicks? And those other chicks would have made other chicks, those other chicks would have made other chicks. And I could have made a lot more money if I hadn't have boiled that hard-boiled egg. And that said, that's a good point. And oh boy, he said, now, I understand what you're saying, but let me come back tonight. And I'll come back tonight, and I'll prove I don't owe $10,000. And if I don't prove it to you, to your satisfaction, then... You, I'll give you the ten thousand dollars. Well, the magistrate thought, well, you know, he's going to pay up. So what? What's a few more hours? So poor boy, he went away. He came back that night and he had a great big old pot of beans. 
Ooh, those beans, they were smelling good. They had some ham and some smoke, you know. Oh, they were smelling so good. The magistrate, he said, well, it's just all about the boys. Now you are. I've got some boiling beans in this here pot. Now, if I take some of those beans and I plant them in the ground, are they going to grow? I said, why? No, everybody knows that boiled beans won't grow. He said, Do you see, Your Honor, just the same way that old boiled egg wasn't ever going to be a chick. Magistrate, he laughed, he knew he'd been had. And that barkey, he knew he'd been had. They wasn't going to get any more out of poor boy. So they took that old pot of beans and they went down to the tavern and they shared some of that barkeep's wares. And they had a good laugh. And that's the story of poor boy and the $10,000 egg by J.J. Renaud. <laughs>